Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, with Christmas and New Year's right around the corner, I'm going to be doing a holiday makeup look. Something that you can wear to a family gathering or a fancier night out. And I will explain throughout the video how to make it a little bit more dramatic if you're looking for a more fierce look. Uh, I do want to stress that I am not a professional makeup artist. I have my beautician's license where we did basic um, makeup artistry for three years, but I don't have any specific makeup artistry certificate. So. These photos, the top are no filters, and then the bottom is my favorite Snapchat filter that just makes you look so dang good. Um, but I wanted to show no filter and then filter. This will be super in depth, so let's start. So first off, great makeup starts with great skin, but not all of us are born with fabulous epidermis genetics, <laughs> including myself. So I do try to drink tons of water throughout my day. I do notice a big difference in my skin when I'm on a strict water drinking regimen. I like to exfoliate at least twice a week and for that I use Vichy Pureté Thermal Skin Renewing Creamy Scrub for sensitive skin. For my moisturizer I'm using Caudalie Ivy Source. Sounds like something Ivy Sore takes before battle. Here Ivy Sore, take this Ivy Source first! I don't know why anybody watches me. <laughs> If you haven't used a primer before, I do highly recommend it. It's a base for foundation that allows it to go on smoother and last longer, just like in painting. I'm using Kat Von D's Lock It Hydration Primer. I forgot to put this on before the primer, but it's not a big deal. I'm using Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. I don't know what it does. According to their site, it evens out skin tone using dark magic and corrects dark spots. Sometimes I get samples, I have no idea what they do, and I put it on my face anyway. I don't recommend doing that. Don't, don't be me. Contrary to the typical application process, I like to put on my loose powdered foundation before my liquid foundation or my concealer as well. And if I'm doing something dramatic, like a more evening look, I'll do my powdered foundation and then my liquid and then powder actually again. I just noticed that the foundation on top of the powder makes it look better. I don't know why, but it just does. So here I'm using Tarte's Amazonian Clay in Fair to Light Honey. Next, I'm using Kat Von D's Locket Concealer Cream in L11 Neutral. Yes, I do love me some Kat Von D products. Take note of where I'm putting this concealer. It's a little lighter than my skin tone, so it's good as a highlighter as well. I'm putting it under my eyes to eliminate the dark bags. Anywhere that light hits first, where you want to emphasize. So the bridge of my nose, above my eyebrows, the middle of my forehead and in between my brows, as well as the raised ridge of my cheekbones, above my upper lip, and just above the ridge of my jaw. This is sort of the basics of highlighting. Next, I use a beauty blender to smooth it all out. This one is old and ripped and gross. I did buy a new one after making this video. Even after a bunch of cleaning, it's just, it was time to get a new one. Next is, surprise, surprise, Kat Von D Locket Foundation in Light 49 Neutral. It's a bit dark since it's my summer shade and I'm no longer sun-kissed, but I'm not about to spend another $50 on my winter shade, so I'm just gonna roll with it. And I'm just gonna be using my Beauty Blender again for this. Sometimes I do use a foundation brush, it just really depends on my mood. Or the nearest thing to me, because lazy. And as I mentioned before, because I'm being super extra, the Tarte Loose Powder once again over top of everything. All right, on to contouring, which honestly I am still trying to perfect is not easy. I'm using Sculpting Brush from Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. My Marc Jacobs contouring palette fell to the floor and crumbled everywhere, so for now I'm just using L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Contouring. If you have good suggestions for contouring palettes, please do comment below. I want to know what you guys use and what you love. So I'm just applying right below the cheekbone. If you suck in your cheeks, you'll be able to see the accentuated dark line where you're gonna wanna apply that shading. So now I'm actually just taking a small rounded brush and pinching the sides 
this is traditionally not what you would use it for, but the thing is there's not really hard set rules. It works for me and you can just do whatever works for you. So I've got a pretty big schnoz, so I like to use the magic of highlighting and contouring to make it look smaller. I'm going along the sides of the bridge of my nose, shading, as well as under my nose too, and then right here I add a little line of shade so that the tip will pop more, if that makes sense. So here I notice that my contouring isn't as dramatic as I'd like it, especially if I'm going to be doing a party evening look. I just really want my cheekbones to pop, so uh, then I'm going to be adding more contouring around the forehead, uh, the corners of my forehead, and the top of it. Next I'll be using NYX's eyeshadow in Girl Talk for the highlight and the base. I don't have any other good base right now, I kind of ran out, so this is just what I'm going to be using in lieu of. I also don't have an eyeshadow primer, but I do highly suggest using one. In the past I've used Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion uh, with really great results. While I'm putting this all over my lid, I am focusing putting more on the inner corners of my eyelid above my eyebrow and the lower lid. This tends to give the appearance of a bigger eye. Totally gonna use my finger here too because sometimes that just works best. A bit of a trick, if you do want more of a shimmery metallic, you can actually dip your brush in water first and then put the eyeshadow on the brush. It makes it just a lot more intense, more pigmented. So I am on the hunt for a good mascara. I do have two here, Monsieur Big by Lancome uh, on the left and Urban Decay's Troublemaker on the right, the shiny one. I do love the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I'm just running really low, so I have to use two. Urban Decay Troublemaker I just recently purchased and I don't quite like it. It doesn't feel like it gives me a really thick, luscious long lashes that I desire like the long comb does. Uh, I do also have one that's not shown here by Clinique called High Impact Lash Elevating Mascara. I got it in a sample. It's in black and it's amazing. It does a great job but you absolutely need to have a good eye makeup remover if you're using it. Next I'll be using Smashbox's Photo Matte Eyes Shadow Liner and Brow Powder. I'll be using right now Earthy, the lighter brown one. And I'll be using my Joe Fresh Crease Blender Brush to really focus on getting the earthy into the creases of my eyelid. I'm also going to work it quite a lot under my lower lash line as well as the corners, the far outside corners of my eyelid for a very dramatic effect. For my eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Sephora Pro Angled Liner Brush, number 22. And my favorite cream eyeliner, Makeup Forever's Waterproof Black Liner. So I could have gone a bit more intense here, extending the line out, making it even thicker overall. Because this is an evening party look, if you did want something a little bit more fierce, you could do that here. Eyebrows. I like to use two pencils for this, a lighter one, number 10 taupe, and then a darker one, 40 brown medium. I like to fill in my brow with the 10 taupe and then actually outline my brow with the 40 medium and then blend.
So I notice I'm a little bit shiny, so I'm going to take L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in Warm and just go over some shiny spots. And uh, since this is a lighter powder than the loose powder I was using, I'm also going to use it as an extra highlighter. So once again, putting it in those spots that I told you are good places to highlight. All right, for my blush, I'm using Makeup Forever's Sculpting Powder in S214. I am surprised they didn't make it a sassy name like Blushing Pink Taco or something. Oh wait, that's NARS. I like to add a little bit of blush to my nose, my forehead, and my chin as well. All right, time for some real shimmery highlights. I'm gonna be using NARS's Hot Sand on the left here, and again, placing that on my cheekbones, my bridge of my nose, and my forehead. All right, on to my eyelashes. Don't remember where I got these bad boys from. Sephora? I don't know. Drugstore? Maybe. But I do want to talk about my Duo Brush On Adhesive Eyelash Glue. It's the only one that doesn't hurt my eyeballs. I have very sensitive eyes, and most eyelash glue makes them water and red. So this one is my absolute favorite. A lot of people are scared to do eyelashes. They don't think they're going to be able to do it well. Maybe it's because I've done it enough in my life but a tip that I like to give is to put the brush on adhesive on the eyelash and then let it sit for a minute don't put it on right away it will become more tacky and easier to stick on all right time for my absolute favorite eyeshadow it is a mouthful still is magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeliner not the slightest bit obnoxious at all. I'm putting this on after my lashes because it does have quite a bit of fallout if you touch it afterwards. So while you're applying it, you're okay because it's still wet, but afterwards, if you add more eyeshadow or put lashes on, you will get some fallout. There are products out there that I don't own, like eyeshadow shields you stick on under your eye for this very reason, um, but you could also be like super ratchet like me and fold some toilet paper under your eye and just use that if you're thrifting. So I'm just adding this above my lash line, above the false eyelashes, and out a little bit. I don't like to put it too high up, it looks kind of weird, but I will do some blending back with my brown eyeshadow afterward. So make sure that when you are applying this to keep your lids relatively closed or just keep looking down. When it's still wet and you're, you completely open your eyes, the liquid's going to get up into the crease of your lid. So I just keep my eyes closed or fan my eyes with my hands to get it totally dry. And I use Kat Von D's Lock It Makeup Setting Mist to keep that eyeshadow in place. For my lips, I'm going to be doing a nice festive red. So I'm using this red lip pencil. Honestly, I have had it for so long that the letters have rubbed off and I've sharpened it so much that you can't tell where it's from, but just a nice generic red. I'm using Max Matte Lipstick in Pretty Irresistible. I'm not a huge fan of MAC now selling their products in China since China requires imported products to be tested on animals for quote unquote safety. Same goes for NARS and Tarte, which is owned by a non-cruelty free company in Japan and so many other brands. So I'm trying to use up these products and I'll do more research into 100% cruelty free companies as I'd really like to support them. This is why I love Kat Von D so much because she is 100% vegan and cruelty cruelty free and does not sell in China. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in finding cruelty free brands and which ones do test on animals. So I don't show it on camera but I'm actually going to be adding some more shading to my nose using my Smashbox eyeshadow palette I used earlier actually in the dark brown canyon just to make it look a little bit smaller. And then one last time grabbing that setting spray and doing one final mist of my entire face. Taking that same dark brown, I'm just going to be going along my lower lid and the corner of my upper lid, just making it a little bit more dramatic, a little darker. How many times have I said dramatic in this video? Who knows? Somebody will probably count it and put it in the comments because the internet. All right, so there you have it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that's what YouTubers say at the end of videos, right? Am I doing this right? Oh, God, am I blowing this? All right, also check me out on twitch.tv slash Thank you again for watching.